Why well, hello there YouTube, Facebook, and quite possibly the world, it is I, MP Booster X, we to boost your MP today, with a vlog, talking about the new year, and some upcoming stuff for my channel, so without further ado, let's get started. So, as I mentioned, it's new year. I mean, that's kind of self-explanatory, it's near the end of January, but it's the new year. And I have really done a lot, I feel in this past, the past year, 2015. I think I've done a lot to prepare myself for this year. For example, I've gotten a bunch of different people to work with me on, this, on the series, a Toho Plushie Project. I'm thinking of starting a new series, a different series, with other plushies, but that might not happen, so I'm not going to get too deep into that. And I'm also working on a themed month, which we'll get definitely get into later. But what I really want to focus on with the new year is the idea of the Toe Plushie Project because that's my biggest draw on this channel. It's what I enjoy doing. It's what I love doing. And it's what people seem to enjoy on my channel as the biggest viewership. So let's talk about that for a few minutes. The people who I work with on this channel are utterly, or on, this, on this video series and on this channel, are utterly amazing people. Like... Oh my god, anybody who wants to work with this nut job right here with all the crazy ideas of Toho in his head and are willing to work with me and even voice the darn characters is utterly amazing. I'm surprised people even deal with me for this long. But there have been several people on this channel who I would actually absolutely want to thank right off the bat. Um, first is uh, Sailor Maroon. I think I'm pronouncing her name. Let me just double check that since I'm on my computer. Sailor Mayroon, I think it's not Mayroon. I don't know how to pronounce her username. Sailor Mayroon, I'm just gonna call her Sailor Mayroon or Sailor Mayroon because that makes a little bit more sense to me. Um, she voices Yukari, y Yukari Akumo. I haven't gotten her into any voice acting things quite yet. I tried to get her into the Halloween special. She was actually supposed to be the big voice of the Halloween special, but since that fell through, she's kind of been on the back burner. She also said she lost her laptop, which I feel really sad about. So I tried to help her a little bit with that, but she currently, I don't think she can currently voice act. I haven't asked her yet, but that's not a big deal. But Sailor Marune is Yukari Akuma, and she's utterly amazing. She's super nice. She's always welcoming to the new voice actresses on the series, and she's just utterly amazing. Um, next, who I'd like to talk about is uh, our Patchouli. Uh, I don't know what her username is typically, but I call her Asia, because that's what she is on my Skype thing, so I just call her Asia. She is utterly amazing. I met her through a live stream, believe it or not, of a person I'm going to do. It's going to get the grand treatment of thank yous in a few minutes. But I met Asia through a live stream, ironically enough. And I was talking about my Toho series, and she said she was kind of interested in auditioning. So I was like, well, at that point, I didn't have too many characters. So I was just like, P play Patchouli. Audition for Patchouli, see where we go. And oh my god, is she utterly amazing. Like, I love her patchouli voice. She is great. And I really like to thank her right now because she's also been on the series for, like, day one. So, Sailor Maroon has been on it a little bit later than that, but she's still an amazing person. And uh, Asia has been on since I'm um, pretty much day one, and I really appreciate the work she's done. Um, sadly, I had to lose my original Alice for video one, which kind of, sort of sucks. I also lost my original Reimu, so I can't really thank either of those two right now. Though I do thank them for the work they did for the one episode. They were utterly amazing, and I wish they could have stayed on, but we one person just didn't want to do voice acting anymore anyway, and one person kind of had a falling out. So I apologize that I did not contact you for uh, later videos, but I figured after what happened between us, it was, it was inappropriate to ask of that. So I hope you understand that, and I hope we can move forward in later down the road. I don't know. Um, a couple other, what other people do I want to thank right now that besides the big one? Um, well, there was a couple of my DeviantArt friends, ironically, who actually joined up with me on this little project. Uh, there's Kia. Uh, Kia voices uh, Sanai. You haven't seen her yet either, but she is definitely in the works. And uh, Rina, who voices uh, Mei Ling who you also haven't heard yet. I try to get a lot of different people into the Halloween special, but it, obviously the Halloween special fell through, so hopefully I can get more people into it. Um, 
they are artists first and foremost, and yet they join me on a voice acting thing, and it is utterly amazing, and their voices are just grandiose. I mean, I love their voices for the project, and it's just... It's just great that DeviantArt people, who I actually, I met Kia through a, through a convention, and she's super amazing. Uh, so is Rena. She's done a lot of good stuff for me, too. And overall, just really good people. And I just love working with them. I love working with everybody on my series. Now, I can't really thank everybody right now, like the big thank yous, because I haven't really got to work with them, a lot of people too much quite yet, but... Just remember, everybody on my Skype call, on my Skype call list for the Toho Plushie project, you are all amazing. You all deserve thanks. Actually, no, I am going to thank everybody right on this little thing right now because you know what? I don't care. <laughs> so let me just get my little Skype thing open so I can see rem remember who is in it because there's a lot of different people. Oh come on! Don't oh, no not respond on me now. Okay. Because you know what? I they, everybody deserves thanks. Everybody deserves thanks. So we, I think that's Claire Bear. Yeah, uh, I'm going to call her Claire Bear because I believe that's what I met her as. Um, she currently voices Yuko. She was supposed to be one of the bigger parts in uh, the Halloween special. And she was supposed to be supposed, that was supposed to be her debut, but she kind of had some issues with, like, some, I don't know what her issues were, but she said she couldn't voice act for a little bit, which I understood. So I haven't, uh, I haven't pressed her about it yet, and I'm probably not going to. I'll ask her maybe in a month or so if she wants to still do it. She says yes. Cool. If not, I'll have to find another Yuko, which some, par some parts have been basically cursed, but I digress. Uh, I really like her voice. She actually did something else for Toe, which is why I originally asked her to be uh, Yuko. I think she, she was supposed to be a Marissa. She was actually a Marissa in, I believe, the abridged anime series, which is hilarious, and she was pretty good. So that's why I asked her. Um, next is Amanda, or Panda Bear, or Panda Burr, from the looks of it. Anyway, um, she is our current Reimu. Um, you haven't heard her yet, but she also did, I believe she was the person who did the, uh, Reimu in the Abridged series. So that's kind of cool. So that's interesting. Um, she's actually really good. I like her voice, and I haven't got to work with her too much, but she seems very into it as well. She actually has a series video in the works, so I will be working on Nap for a little bit in that video. It's a Reimu-centric video, so it's going to be about Reimu. So that will be funny. Um, Courtney Fabella, I believe she... Yeah, she is our... Crud, what's her name again? Oh my god, I'm drawing blanks here. Satori and our Chen, actually. She is our Chen Yakumo and our Satori... Crap, what's her last name? Koichi. No, no. Komeji. Komeji. Satori Komeji. Is Koichi's her sister. Um, she actually does very good voice acting. Like, oh my god! To be a, both a really, really dull-sounding character to the nyan-nyan character of Chen, it's utterly freaking amazing. It's like, I could... I, I, know, I understand that people's voices can be very, very different, but it, it's, it's just that she can sound so different like that. Um, uh, Emmy Kiesel, or Emma Kiesel, um, she's our current Cherno, or Cherno, I forget how to pronounce it, doesn't matter. Uh, she, I'm going to work with her a little bit more, because I, she did something for me for a con convention that didn't get to really work out in my favor, so I, I'm going to work with her a little bit more, see if we can get a Cherno voice that we I can like and that she can enjoy doing. Because it's kind of difficult a little bit to see how, how I feel like I want to churn out the sound. Because she Cherno is an idiot. And she is an excitable idiot. So it's just like, I want to make sure I get the right voice. The perfect voice. So, there's that. Um, I probably should be using their usernames instead of their actual names. I believe it's actually Hatsune Miku for Emma. I, I just call them by their... I just say by their Skype names. Uh, I think... Uh, Frankie Toast, I believe is what the next one is. Yeah, Frankie Toast. Uh, she is our current uh, Suwako, so she'll be working with Kia a lot, which is funny, ironic, because their names are right next to each other in the Skype call. So, she actually is really good, and I like... She, she is actually one of the very first people 
to, I think, join the website to actually audition for my thing. Because from the looks of it, she only auditioned for one thing at first, and it was my project. And she joined, like, literally that day. So I don't know if that happened. I don't know if that's the true, Frankie. But if it is, you're awesome. You're awesome, you're awesome, you're awesome. Because you actually pretty much aced the audition. I mean, I liked your Suwako voice, so that was pretty cool. Or Suwako. I don't know how to pronounce it. Suwako? Suwako? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Um, Kiwi! Ah, Kiwi. Uh, what does she voice besides? She voices Romilia, Scarlet, and Ranya Kumo. And oh my god, her Romilia is like spot on. Like, I... I was amazed when I listened to her audition. I was like, I should just give you Romilia now. And I was like, you know what? I'm freaking going to. That's actually the conversation we had. And she auditioned for Ron, too, and I was thinking, like, do I really want two pe one person to play two characters? Heck, she aced both characters. Screw it! And uh, Kiwi is an amazing, like, person. Like, she is pretty quick on the ball when I when I ask for lines. And she and she always asks me, are they okay? I'm like, oh, my God, hell yeah, they are. So that's pretty cool, and I just love working with them. I love working with everybody, so that's I should probably just stop saying that. But you know what? doesn't matter. Uh, Kumori, uh, she's also a DeviantArt person, and she's a friend of the big, the big thank you. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get to talk a little bit about Kumori. I'm gonna talk about the big thank you in a few minutes. But Kumori is the um, as uh, freaking uh, uh, what's her name again? Yomu. She's Yomu. She's Yomu Kumpaku, and um. She hasn't done too much voice acting quite yet because the only thing she was supposed to do was the Halloween special as of right now. So hopefully I can get Kumori into into the mix as well. So that will be a good thing to do. Um, Leticia Perez is our or I forget what her username is. I'm just gonna call her Leticia. I'm sorry if you I'm sorry if you guys hate me for using your first names. If you want me to change it, I'm gonna make a different video. I apologize. I'm just using Skype as my example. Um, Leticia is our Flandre and our Suica. She, uh, Suica's voice actress, uh, left for unknown reasons, and I couldn't get in contact with her anymore, so I had auditions for Suica again, and Leticia pretty much aced the audition. Like, everybody really worked really hard on acting, voice acting for these characters, and Leticia is pretty cool. Um, I haven't talked to too many of these voice actresses that are newer. A lot of these people are newer. So I haven't been able to talk to a whole lot of them too much, but they're, they're really great people and they're really hardworking. Ah, Luli. Uh, <laughs> I have an interesting story with Luli. She was originally supposed to voice a Marissa, but I felt like her voice was a little too different from Marissa. So I actually have her voicing currently a character I don't even own quite yet. She's voicing, uh, I, I want to say Tay, Tay Inaba. Or Inaba, Te Inaba, the the pink dressed rabbit character. I always say Toei, but I'm pretty sure it's Tay. But she's voicing Tay currently, and um, I she's actually really nice. Uh, I believe she's actually a foreigner, one of the very few foreigners I have on this series, and uh, she's actually really good. I mean, I her voice is a little different for what I was going for, but she's a pretty. I think she's gonna be a very good Tay. So there's that. Uh, I think it's Na Young. I don't know how to pronounce that, but she is actually our newest voice actress. She voices she voices Moko, uh, Fujiwara no Moko. So I haven't got to really meet her yet, but hopefully I get to and like chat with her and see what see what she wants to do. She might just be one of those let's get down to business and defeat the Huns sort of person. <laughs> so who knows. And uh, Undead Unicorn, that's actually her username, so I'm glad she actually used her username. She's our new Alice. Uh, she is very... She, she, you actually have heard Alice. It was a little glitchy in the second episode of the Toho Plushy Project shorts, uh, The Magician Sleepover, but let's just face it, that video was all sorts of weird. I didn't do any movement, it was all green screen, and the green screen was terrible. So I'm just going to chalk that up to, yeah, we probably should have done better with that. And I'm, I've learned my mistakes, but she is a very good person to work with. I like working with everybody, but um, there's just that. Now time for the big thanks. 
Oh my god, Biku. Oh my god, Biku. Um, Biku is a DeviantArt friend, but she's very into voice acting as well. And she is literally, if I'm correct, the first person to do anything. And I mean anything with the series. Anything at all. And I'm just like, oh my god, she's amazing. She has been a great DeviantArt friend. She's been a great voice acting friend. I can even call her a friend because of how much we've actually talked and enjoyed each other's conversations and company and stuff. I've never met her. Which sucks, because she lives in Canada, and should be, it, should, it should be relatively easy for a New Yorker to go meet somebody in Canada, but it's not. So, sadly, I haven't met her yet, but she's a great person. Uh, she currently, she voiced Marissa at first, before the, I had the serious auditions, but now she's strictly Sakia Izayoi. Because I love her Sakia, it's utterly amazing. She actually, she's seen Sakia once as singing... But she's currently going to be in the third episode of the Toopushi Project short set. Is not what I'm going to upload later, which I'll get into in a few seconds. But um, she's currently Sakia, and I love her voice for it. She uh, Biku is such an amazing person, and I can't stress this enough that she is a great artist. She is a great voice actress. She's a great friend. And I'm, I'm probably going to, if I was given any more time, I'd probably gush over her for, like, everything she's done for me. She's, she pretty much kept me going on this series. I almost gave up. Like, I wasn't like, this is too much work, I hate it, I'm done. But Biku, not wanting to let Biku down is basically what kept me going on this project. And now it's what, it's exploded into not too much, not a big series, but a, my biggest series on my channel. So, I mean, I love I guess, but you got to give it up to Toho Plushie Project right now. It is utterly amazing. So, I wanted to thank everybody because I can't do this project without any of them. And, <coughs> jeez, man. <coughs> my throat is sore. Because I've been talking too much, and it's also pretty dry in my room. Also, as you can probably imagine, I'm back in college, so... College, yay! But, um... I wanted to thank everybody for this, for what they've done for me, what they've done for the series. Because none of these people had to do anything for me. And they're all doing this for free. Like, I feel utterly terrible that I have, ha that I have all these great voice actresses. Some of them... Some of them want to do this for their living. Some of them don't. Some of them just want to be. Some of them just want to help me. But everybody is just super, duper, awesomely, amazingly nice, and I just want to. Do. So I gotta, I gotta stop talking about everybody before this gets really too crazy. So just everybody on the Toho Plushie Project, remember that I love you all. I love you all. You, you're all amazing. And I hope I can talk about you guys, or you ladies, in another video, expressing my deep, amazingly fondness of everybody, that you've just done so much for me, and it's utterly amazing, and I love it all. So, I, I did mention I was going to upload another Toho video. Um, this goes into my next topic, and my probably only other topic, really, as at least of right now. Um, it's called, if I remember correctly, the Toho Plushie Project Winter Spectacular. Now, it was supposed to be a video for Christmas, and then it was supposed to be a video for New Year's, and now one month later, it's done, and it's going to be uploaded hopefully tonight, when I upload, after I upload this one, or tomorrow, if anything, because I have nothing to do Sunday. Today's Saturday, by the way. It's the 23rd, so I have to upload it today now. Yay! Um, I'll upload it sometime tonight, so people know I, when I did it, I immediately uploaded it. Anyway, um... I am uploading the Toho Plushie Project Winter Spectacular. It's a silent film, black and white sort of thing. Uh, three parts. The first part is the longest. So, and it was supposed, it was supposed to be technically a one-part video, but I made it into three because I wanted to do other stuff with it. So I won't get in too much into the thing, but it's, it's all wintry themed, and the first part's Christmas themed. So that's literally about all you're going to really get out of that video. It's this interesting concept I wanted to mess around with. Also had some like grain to the, added some grain to the film, so hopefully that works really well too. Um, 
But the big thing I wanted to talk about besides the thank yous on this video is um, next month. Next month is February. It's my birthday month. I'm born on leap year. And some people may not realize that. And I want to do something big for February uh, because I'll be 20 and um, I'm, I'm, I'm into this really cool company that I want, really want to express my love for. And that so the theme, it's my themed month basically. It's my themed month. So I'll be doing a themed month known as Dengeki Bunko Month. Now some of you may not realize what Dengeki Bunko is if you're not a light novel fan. Um, it's a light novel company that's done uh, a bunch of light novels, obviously. They got turned into manga, they got turned into anime. And uh, the big one that most people remember, if they know anything about Dengeki Bunko, is Sword Art Online, or SAO. Um, I'll get into that in a few seconds. Uh, they also, they've done a menagerie of other things, but um, what I'm going to, what I'm going to get into right now is what I'm going to do for Dengeki Bunko Month. Um, I had a poll done with my friends in the anime club that I, that I go to at school with, and uh, they voted for the top three anime that they wanted me to talk about that's Dengeki Bunko related. So the anime that got the top three votes were um, the regular Magic High School, uh, Black Bullet, and Torador. I believe Black Bullet actually won the poll, but I had to do something a little bit different because I wanted to make sure things were even. So what I'll be doing with this project is that every week I'm going to watch the entire anime. First season, not second season if it has one or so on and so forth. So I'll be watching... Uh, all the anime that have been listed, up, along with SAO as a little grand door end of the month thing. And a little something special at, on my birthday, which I won't get into because it's special. So, the first anime I'm going to be watching is the regular Magic High School because it was the least amount of votes. Then I'm going to be watching Black Bullet, although it did win the poll. It got an extra vote after I said voting was ended, so technically Toradora won. So it'll be... It'll be Regular Magic High School, Black Bullet, and Toradora. And I'm looking forward to each and every anime. Uh, even if it is longer than 13 episodes, I'm going to watch them all. And then I'm going to do a review of them. And I might have some special guests. I might not. It honestly depends right now. But they're all going to be friends from the anime club, so they might be really weird to you. But they're my friends from anime clubs, so though. So it'll all work out. Um, On the weekends... I'm going to be playing a little game that I that I have loved dearly. I love dearly. The game is amazing. Called Dengenki Bunko Fighting Climax, which is kind of the game, or kind of the thing that spurred Dengenki Bunko Month. Um, if you don't know what Dengenki Bunko Fighting Climax is, it's a wonderful fighting game that uses a bunch of Dengenki Bunko characters um, from the animes, or I should say, like novels, but the anime char the anime representations of each of the characters. Um, such characters are Shizuo from Dorara, uh, Rintaro from Black Bullet, uh, Taiga from, uh, Toradora, so on and so forth. Um, I'll be playing the characters that represent the anime that I watched that week. So, for t regular Magic High School, I'll be playing Miyuki. For Black Bullet, I'll be playing Rintaro. And for Toradora, I'll be playing, uh, Taiga. And I'll be playing their appropriate, um... Uh, supports as well. So that would be... I don't actually know any of their names. Uh, uh, yeah, I do Tats Tatsuya for Miyuki. Uh, Enju, or Anju for uh, Rentaro, and I forget Ryos... No, it's not Ryosuke. Uh, something, Rinosuke? It's something along those lines. It's an R name. I know that much. It's an R name, R name guy for uh, Taiga. Oh, no, I'll learn his name for the, hand for the review. So, yeah! Even though he's the main freaking character, and I should probably know his name. Whips. Uh, so I'll be doing that every weekend. Uh, it might be a live stream, it might just be a recording. I don't quite know, except I mess with my cash card a little bit. I finally got that to work, by the way, guys. I know I said I didn't get it to work before, but like a year ago. But right now it's totally working. I just gotta get some things fixed about it right now. I'm not sure entirely sure what's wrong with it, with the PlayStation. But if I can get it to work... I'll, if I can get it to work, I'll let you guys know, but if I can get it to work, I'll also let you guys know by posting uh, video footage of videos, video uh, video footage of video games, so yeah. It might be a live stream, or it might just be me recording myself and my friends who plays with me, 
with this cam this camera and I will be play and I'll be recording the footage and this will be this footage will be in the corner and our video video game footage will be the big screen thing. So but you'll definitely hear us in our probably very, very vulgar conversations. Because when I mean me and my friends play, we get very angry. Very angry indeed. Especially me and my friend Richard. We get very into it. So that's fun. Yeah. But um I think that's about it. Uh, so Dengeki Boonka Month will take take place in the month of February. Um, oh, hopefully everything will work out to the point where I can finish everything, and so I can do the very special. Oh crap! Um, I'm also going to review Sao because it's by far the most controversial anime that the Gingibuko has ever really had their name placed on, and I'm just like, how the hell is that possible? <laughs> Because the, I've never seen something so conflicted in the anime in the anime fan base. It's like SEO sucks. SEO is amazing. It's like I need to know why. I have never watched SAO. I've never watched Toradora. I have never watched Black Bullet. I've watched one episode of the regular Magic High School. So let's just say I'm getting myself into something probably scary here. So but I figured this would be a good place. Um, I might also talk about other animes if I have the time to watch them, like Dorara Rock. I've actually started Dorara Rock. I might even watch Dorara Rock tonight. I um, definitely might talk about Heavy Object, the newest Dengeki Bunko right novel anime, because it is utterly amazing. I love Heavy Object. Um, except for the guy's name, Quenther. I hope they relate. I hope they tell us why that is. That's his name, or like what the reference is, or something, because that's just a really weird name. Then there's Javier and Melinda, or Millinda. I forget if it's Melinda or Millinda. I do not know. I do not know. I uh, they call her princess, so it's just like what the heck? I don't care. And also the uh, the commander, which I forget her name right now off the top of my head. I've only watched two ep three episodes of that. I watched basically the first uh, the first battle, the first uh, heavy the first object being destroyed, that arc. So I need to get in, I need to get into it. Uh, Funimation is actually uploaded the next six episodes on YouTube, so I might want to go watch that. <laughs> but I'm only on episode four, so I might want to watch those first. <laughs> or am I on episode three? No, I'm on episode four because they uploaded episodes one, two, and three, four, five, and six, and they uploaded seven through twelve. So I'm think I'm on episode four. Crap, I don't remember. Anyway, I'll talk about that. I might have I may have a top ten in there somewhere just because I want to talk about my top ten char favorite characters from the game, or top ten, top ten favorite characters from the Genki Bunko period. So I might get into that. I'm not entirely sure about a top ten because I'll have to script that out, and I don't really want to script anything. <laughs> I kind of just want to I just kind of want to just review things the way I want to do it, which is just like freelance, free everything. I don't want to do I don't want to script shit. I mean, there might be some topics I want to talk about, but I'm, I won't script them. I'll just write write down the topics. I'm like, that's not a script. That's just that's just guide point guide points. Woo! I don't know how long this video is, but it's probably been like at least twenty minutes from the looks of my clock. Um, so it takes forever to upload. Now that I think about it. Uh, but anyway, I don't really care. So this has been MP Booster Axel. Um, I uh, hope your MP has been MP has been boosted exponentially today. Um, uh, hopefully this upload video will be uploaded somewhere around 10 o'clock. It's a 20 minute video, so I about midnight or hope today. And it's actually 10 o'clock. It's 10 o'clock now. I hope it's uploaded by today. If not remotely tomorrow morning at the latest, um, I'm going to upload it like right after I'm done making it. So there's that. But I hope I'm MP Booster Axel. I hope your MP has been boosted exponentially today. And I'll see you in the next video, which will which will be the uh, Toe Winter Spectacular video should be uploaded either today after this one or tomorrow but anyway it'll be uploaded and i love you all hope you're infused with boost exponentially and i'll see you in the next video Woo! yeah uh.